Hi, I'm Kerry Almond and I am back for my 15th season. Um, I cannot wait to be back out there in front of the Thunder fans at Bellevue in 2024. Um, so watch this space and let's see how we can do this season. Um, that's a difficult question, um, obviously because I spent most of my time on the sideline, but um, I really enjoyed our Loughborough home game, which was our first home game. Um, the atmosphere was incredible, it was great to back out in front of the fans. And then obviously, you know, playing finals netball is always um, an enjoyment, even though we lost the semi-final, but it's always great to be in that final four. Um, but I just think being around the team, being with the girls and, and just really enjoying supporting them through the season. Um, I think obviously myself and Shadina already had a connection from the season before so it's always fun playing with her. Um, it was really fun learning how to play with, with Ella because she's got a very different style to most of our other goal defences and she's just an absolute firecracker to play with. Um, training with Josie, obviously we never played together unfortunately, but um, I think training with Josie is it was having another loud person in there and yeah she was really fun to have around. Um, Having Emma back, what more could you ask for? Someone that I played with for 11 seasons, it was brilliant to have her back in the squad and, and actually just rebuild that connection and it just came straight back, thankfully. Oh, they make me feel so old. Um, I actually really, really enjoy it because I know that I've got lots of experience and that I can pass on to them, but they've also got some nice new tricks that they can teach me as well. But it's 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 always been great fun. You know, there's times in pre-season where we don't have our internationals in and there is quite an age gap between myself and some of the others, but it's fun, you know, we all get on and it's just, it's it's easy to be honest. And, you know, they they rib me and I have a go at them back and it, yeah, it's, it's just fun, I enjoy it. I absolutely hate it. Um, it was it was really hard work. There were times through the season where it was really really difficult for me mentally um, and physically. There were a few few breakdowns um, at training and, and out of training. There were a couple of times where it, it was hard driving home. But you know we we got through it. I got through it with the support of my teammates, with my coaches, and everyone else around the sports staff. And, and as difficult as it was. I think it'll put me in a better place for this coming season. Oh, unfinished business. Um, we have a title to win back, um, and that's something that is always our aim. That's definitely my aim. Um, and it's also just making sure that I always have something to offer, and I do still think that there's something that I can offer this team. And really, really excited to get back out there with our new squad and, and build those connections with some of our new players that we've got in there. And it's just a really exciting prospect with who we've got, and I can't wait to get started. And, you know, and having Laura Malcolm back as well as one of our coaches, um, really looking forward to seeing what she can bring to our team as well and the extra dynamic that she's going to bring. More voice. Um, there's always something that you know I can be louder in, um, and that's something that I'm definitely going to do. And I just think being my irritating, dogged style in defence as well, I think that's definitely something that I can bring. And it's just that extra experience um, of being around the Super League for so long that I can pass on to the younger players. I could never have imagined when I started in 2008 that I'd still be playing, I'll be, what, 16 years later. Um, never, never imagined that. Um, and I just think that the, the Thunder fans, when you're out on court, they are truly your eighth player. I know it, it sounds like a total cliche, but they actually are. Like at Bellevue, it is the loudest place that I think I have played in Super League, or I know I've played in Super League. Um, and they really just get you over the line in those tough games. And when you are winning by a fair margin, they're always there to push you on to get more and get more and they never let you rest. And that's a really, really good thing. And I can't wait to have that again this season with bigger and better crowds. I think in, in general, it's the, it's the crowds. I, you know, there's more and more people going to women's sport. There's 
more diversity in the crowds now as well. I think when I first started, we were playing at the castle in Bury and there was two to 300 people in there and the dynamic was, I'd say 95% female of some, some sort. And now I think when we look at our crowds at Bellevue and we're getting near 2,000 people, or if we're in the arena and we're getting you know 4,000 people in there, the diversity, there's, there's more of an even split. I think there's obviously still more females in there, but there's more men that are coming to games now. Um, and I think that's true for all women's sport. And you look at something like the 100 in the cricket and those games are, are, are selling out and you know the crowd is, it looks like it's 50-50. And that's something that we're, we're getting towards now in netball. I just think bigger crowds, more money in there. And to be honest, louder um, and more partisan crowds as well, which is something that I think we need in netball.